The pandemic has changed everything we thought we knew about the world. Travel, healthcare, and lifestyle have been forever altered. And then there's education, where billions of days in learning have been lost to school closures, remote classes, and unequal access to technology. Please give a warm welcome for James Chow. I'm James Chow, host of The China Current, with a glimpse into tomorrow's world and stories about the human experience everywhere. Just a couple of years ago, over 370,000 Chinese students traveled abroad to further their education, so they and their families could enjoy a better life, just like everyone else. The pandemic hit the pause button not only when everyone retreated behind their doors globally, but also due to the anti-Asian sentiment that continues to grow. But education is not just about results; it's about transforming your own life, then using that to contribute to the communities around you. So when people get shut out, many more people do also. But I think the lesson from this is the opportunity to reframe the way we think about international exchange and how it brings us closer together as a human family, where our differences are celebrated and not used to divide us. There's also the chance to reimagine global education as an inclusive endeavor, rather than something that is reserved to the few of us who can afford it. For example, studying abroad isn't available to everyone because it historically required students to travel out of the country. When the pandemic hit, impacting everyone's ability to board a plane, international educators quickly examined how to deliver an effective global education experience to everyone, anywhere. This led to new opportunities for robust virtual study abroad and cross-cultural events online. Allowing students from all backgrounds to have the chance to experience a truly global education, despite a drop in enrollment of Chinese students in U.S. universities over 2020 to 2021, China is still the primary source for international students coming to America. In fact, the numbers of Chinese students is twice that of those from India and ahead of every other country by far. This data, when you bring it to life, proves the endurance of the education sector. I really love that. It shows we can be close, learn from one another, and progress at the same time. Ideas flourish, and potentials are unlocked. While the pandemic has changed so much about our beautiful world, the desire to expand the human mind through the magic of discovery and knowledge will always continue to thrive.